Tens of thousands of people, of course, will be converging on Sioux City in the next uh, couple of days, all to kick off the 50th Rag Bride. But that's just the start of a week-long trek across Iowa. Riders leave town, then head for Storm Lake Sunday, and that is where KCAU 9 News reporter Jason Toktagian spent the day talking with organizers there about what riders can expect when they arrive in our top story at 6. Tim and Sophie, up to 25,000 people are expected in Sioux City to begin RAGBRAI. But the next stop along that route is Storm Lake, hosting riders for the first time since 2015. We're expecting 30,000 riders, but that doesn't include the support vehicle people. So I guess we're anticipating that we're, we're thinking about the 40,000 mark is where we'll be at. Folks in Storm Lake are preparing for Rag Bride participants for the first time in eight years. Local businesses are doing their part to get ready for the big ride. We are selling official Rag Bride Storm Lake t-shirts and they've gone really well, especially the last couple weeks. People are really coming in for them and we are almost sold out. We've been brewing cold brew for a couple of weeks now, um, piling up, on, loading up on cold brew. Um, couple hundred gallons of that. We're setting up seating in our parking lot for about 300 people, so we're hoping about 300 at a time. The Storm Lake Rag Bride board chair says the city will be packed with people staying overnight. Camping, our main campgrounds, the Field of Dreams, which is in uh, the north part of Storm Lake on 10th Avenue. We have camping all around the lake. Uh, we have camping uh, in our uh, in our school, school uh, lots, uh, everywhere. And the co-owner of Sugar Bowl will also play a part in hosting riders. I'm hosting a, a quite small team, but I knew that it was important to have, um, you know, to host what I could to do my part. And I knew they were looking for people to host here in Storm Lake. Storm Lake was supposed to be part of the 2020 Ragbri route, but was canceled due to the pandemic. Now Storm Lake residents are ready to show off their city. It's such a fun opportunity to get to know different people and it's great for our town just how many people ride Reg Bry to see these different towns in Iowa. It gives us a chance to showcase our community. I mean, it's a beautiful community, a lovely lake, great people here, very supportive businesses. Um, so it's a great opportunity for us to just really show what Storm Lake has to offer. The Keenans also told me that in 2015, they prepared 1,200 breakfast and dinner meals, and this year, they're ready to prepare more than 2,000. Reporting in Storm Lake, Jason Toktagian, KCAU 9 News.